So guys, we're back with episode 2, so welcome back. Um, this is going to be a Monday thing. Um, and, you know, just come back. It'll be towards the end of Monday, so I, I'm aiming... I'm going to aim to get them out at about 8 o'clock. Um, and, well, I'm, I'm going to start with some negatives in this video. So, tickets for co Cocaine Bear are on sale now. Annoyingly, I really want to go see it, but I can't because it's an 18 and I have not reached that age yet. So, same thing happened with Babylon. Uh, another negative is I've finished The Walking Dead now. It's a positive and a negative, but you know, I'll go into more depth into that. Um, and this video will contain spoilers for The Walking Dead. Um, and to be fair, guys, I, I was hoping the DC news would have been announced by now so I can speak about it in this video. Um, however, it's not. It's happened. It's been announced tomorrow, so that'll be a separate video in itself. Um, but yeah. Also, guys, how the first episode was like thirteen minutes or something. I'm gonna. It'll be very in length. So that one was quite short. I aim to make them a lot, a bit longer. Not a lot longer. I don't want them too long. But yeah. So, guys, let's talk about. Why don't we start with Cobra Kai? Cobra Kai is coming to an end, guys. Um. A couple of weeks ago, the they dropped like a, a little thing saying it is the final season, the biggest one yet. I think it probably deserves to come to an end. Um, I mean, six seasons is a good run, to be fair. I mean, I only recently really got into it when the fifth season came out. So, I uh, am excited for this final season, but I can understand why it's come to an end. And I'm not too sad about it. But something that does surprise me, you know, the whole Cobra Kai never dies. It doesn't surprise me, I just find it ironic. Cobra Kai is dying now. <laughs> um, what else do you want to talk about? Letterbox, that's another one. Um, so go follow me on Letterbox. Um, I will put my account name in the description. Uh, please make sure you go check that out. I'm constantly updating it of stuff I'm watching, stuff I'm seeing at the cinema rewatches and stuff like that even the little short films like you know the little pixar short films yeah so please 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 make sure you are you know going to follow me over there because i i, I really appreciate it thank you um highest grossing movies as well there's another one james cameron has now directed four no Three out of the top four highest grossing movies. That also means that Zoe Saldana has starred in four out of the top five highest grossing movies. And I think five out of the top six highest grossing movies are owned by Disney. So Disney own it. Zoe Saldana is clearly a good look charm. And James Cameron's clearly a fantastic director. I think that's what kind of what we can establish from from that, yeah. Um, I think Avatar's the top one, and then I don't know the exact order, but I know Avatar the way the water's in fourth at the minute, that keeps going up. Um, Avengers Infinity War and Endgame's in there, and Titanic. I can't think for the life of me what the sixth one is, so if anyone knows, please feel free to let me know in the comments. That would be nice. Now, something we need to talk about, guys, is The Last of Us. Again, same as last week, when you see these videos, I won't have seen the episode, but I will probably be watching the episode whilst you're watching the video, you know, if you watch it straight away, which please go and do. Um, the Last of Us, I've not played the game, but I've heard it's a fantastic game ad adaptation. Um, it's recently been confirmed it's going to have a season two, and th that's exciting stuff, you know. I am really excited to see where the show goes, um, but, you know, something that annoys me is people are comparing it to The Walking Dead. I just wanted to say, stop! Three episodes to 177 episodes. Which one is better? Obviously the 177 episodes. Anyone who says otherwise is wrong. Rick Grimes is goated. The Walking Dead is one of my favourite shows. Going into The Walking Dead, Invincible, another comic book show kind of made by the same people. Um, I'm going to get into that, especially since I've, uh, Jeffrey D. Morgan put a post out. He plays Negan, by the way, in The Walking Dead, about him reading it. So, I mean, maybe he's coming into it as a villain or something. That would be great to see him and um, 
I mean, old Glenn reunite and the Invincible Universe, that'd be interesting. Um, on to the... Actually, before we get on to The Walking Dead, I want to talk about, you know, DreamWorks, Disney, Pixar. Um, I've started watching some of them, you know. <laughs> um, I, I don't know why. I feel like it's just the anticipation of Puss in Boots has just got me into it. So it's just like, yeah, let's watch it. Let, let, let's just go for it. So... Let me know, guys, I did recently did, well, I'll be doing a video on it once I've seen Puss in Boots, but my favourite movies from Disney, Pixar, and DreamWorks, so please let me know yours, uh, and go check that out once it's released. It's made, I'm just kind of holding off to see Puss in Boots to see if that changes my mind on the DreamWorks section. Um, and speaking of Puss in Boots, I'm annoyed, guys. The UK and um, US differing release dates. I mean, what is the point? Why? What? What is the need? Why do we have to get movies two months later than America? I mean, I know these movies are made in America and America people own these movies, but like two months, I feel like that's just, that's just ridiculous, guys. Ridiculous. I'm sorry. Oh, my hair's a bit of a mess now. I was just kind of freaking out there. Yeah, it is ridiculous. Um, Yeah. Let's get on to The Walking Dead then, the the main part about all of this, I mean we're six minutes in and I've not, not even spoke about it. So the scariest, I watched the scariest Walking Dead episode, which was season 11, episode 6. If you've seen it, you'll know why, I mean pe those people in that are far gone. They are like animals, they are brutes. Not even that, they're skinny in it. Yeah, that freaked me out, that sent a shiver down my spine. Um, I finished it as well on Sunday, so I managed to get that exactly two month period. I am, I'm so happy, um, and, yeah, it was so good, I've really enjoyed it, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna watch Fear the Walking Dead and the World Beyond, um, however, I'm gonna take a little sabbatical from it, and I'm gonna watch, like, the Wednesday series, Outer Banks, Death in Paradise, Bad Batch Season 2, Willow, all of these things, then I'll get onto them, and obviously the eighth season of Fear the Walking Dead's coming out, and we've also got the Daryl Dixon spin-off, which is him set in France. Like, that confused me. Like, France? Why is he in France? Um, we've also got Maggie and Negan, Dead City. That is going to be an interesting one. I'm really looking forward to that one. I've heard rumours that Negan could slip back in, into his old ways. I mean, we will get prime Negan again. But also, I mean, I don't want that in a way. I love the fact that... He's kind of starting to make amends for what he did. Um, and obviously the Rick and Michonne series. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The way the episode ended and when the Rick Grimes returned. That was a moment which I probably, I'm sure you've probably seen the meme. Um, not really meme. But the um, Soup's reaction to Superman. Um, th that was my reaction. That was my reaction to Rick Grimes returning. Just hold on a sec, I just, I just show you, um, I just want to show you that video, just so you know. He's back, he's back, he's back, he's back! Um, so yeah, that, that was my reaction to Rick Grimes returning, basically. A uh, bit of a, bit of a weird reaction, I can't lie. Um, but I was, um, that was literally me. I was so happy to see the GOAT return, Andrew Lincoln. I've just been scouring TikTok and the internet. I've just, I need Walking Dead in my life, to be fair. I mean, even when I'm not watching the shows, I need to know something about it. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of got like a bit of an addiction at the minute to The Walking Dead. Um, so, yeah, that's all I can say, really. Um, I really want Negan's bat, Lucille, as like um, a replica. Yeah, I'll probably... Probably have that up on my shelf, you know? At the minute, look, my shelf is just full of Funko Pops and stuff. And Lego. Um, so I'm going to just that switch around and get some more Funkos, obviously. But I really want some Walking Dead Funkos as well. That is another thing. Um, and Guardians 3 Funkos, I'll get them. But yeah, I really want Lucille. That oh, I could even just have it here next to me. I, I, yeah, if I get Lucille, it will be featured in a video. You, I guarantee it now. Um... I really, really want Lucille. <laughs> Definitely recommend The Walking Dead to you, 100%. Please don't be put off by the fact that it's an 11 season run, because it's like, I know I can understand why you'll be put off by it, 
but it is 100% worth it. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was so, so good. My one issue, this is uh, obviously spoilers here. Carl, that final scene with Judith and RJ, ish, Carl should have been there. They did him dirty by killing him off. And with a walker bite as well. I mean, yeah, that that was the most annoying thing about it. Um, Glenn as well, I miss Glenn, but I feel like I, I'm kind of understanding why they killed him off now. Um, they, they, there's no way that they can just keep all the main characters, the fan favourites around because they're fan favourites. I mean, that wouldn't be realistic. Although, let's face it, what is realistic about The Walking Dead? But at least, you know, I know I would survive the apocalypse. I even did a quiz. You don't ask. I did a quiz to see if I'd survive. And yes, your boy would survive the apocalypse. Um, so yeah, that, that uh, just to finish off with the theme of The Walking Dead, um, top characters are Rick, Daryl, Negan's up there now. I hated him with a passion. I did mention that in a video, but Negan is up there now. And then I've got to say Glenn's probably up there. Maggie as well, and then honourable mentions like Carol, and fair Judith as well. I didn't like her straight away, but I really liked her. I, I did enjoy the relationship between Rosita and Gabriel as well, So that, that and when she died in the final episode, it just kind of, that's heartbreak right there. And Eugene has, Eugene's got a kid as well, that's cool. Little, little nerdy kid on the way, that's, well not on the way, he was born. So yeah, but I 100% recommend it to you. Favourite season is season 5. Season 5 Rick is a beast. Um, and I, I probably season 5 group was my favourite. Although, don't get me wrong, I did like the season 11 group. That was good. I feel like, I've, I've said it before, this should do a season 12. If you have a look at my recent Walking Dead videos, you'll see why. The video I'd like to do is pick uh, from another franchise. I saw Kylax Movies do it over on TikTok. Um, and I'd like to do characters that would survive it from this other franchise he did stranger things so power rangers shrek they could be good ones so yeah keep an eye out for that video that 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 could be interesting um so yeah i've just spoke about the walking dead i love that show for for a while now um i'm going to finish it off with a little bit of dc and letting you know about my favorite movies and shows if you go into letterbox you'll see that mentioning that again but to be fair i mean nowhere home that's up there on my favorites Whiplash, I watched that for the first time recently. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Um, Into the Spider-Verse and Top Gun Maverick, probably my favourites at the minute. Shaun of the Dead is fifth though, close. Very close to my top four. Um, Yeah, Morbius is my least favourite comic book movie. I don't really know why I mentioned that. And I'd really like to watch like Shawshank Redemption and Back to the Future and Django Unchained. There's some good iconic ones that I'd really like to see. Um... Yeah, and then DC News, recently, earlier this week, we got a new trailer for Shazam. Um, I liked it. I feel like it revealed quite a lot, to be fair. Although maybe it didn't. Maybe it didn't. Maybe that's just me. But I do feel like it revealed quite a lot. Um, I mean, some people are saying, what's the point in watching it? And yeah, I can see where you're coming from. D new DC Universe. I mean, it's been announced tomorrow. It has been confirmed by James Gunn himself. So keep an eye out for that. As I say, I'll do a separate video. Um, but then, like, if you watch it and it makes more lots of money, you will see Shazam again in the future. And also, that will allow Warner Brothers as a studio to cr create better and more stuff. So go watch Shazam. Go enjoy it as a movie. And if it is his last outing, still enjoy it. If this is his last outing, Zachary Levi... If we ain't going to see him as Shazam again, we might as well enjoy the final moments. Same with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I feel like The Flash is a different story, but yeah, we should be getting a trailer for that soon, as well as Fast X, to be fair. So yeah, I mean, the Shazam trailer was good, but for me, I mean, it didn't get me any more hyped, I'm going to say, but I will be there watching it. I will be there supporting Team Shazam and DC. Speaking of DC, tomorrow is obviously the announcements. You know, I, I look forward, let me know what you guys think will be announced, but I look forward to seeing what's going to be announced after a video on it. And to be fair, one thing I would really like is I'd like to see the Justice Society, like the OG team. I'd like to see the Justice League done 
justice, basically. And I think the Green Lantern should get something. I mean, there's a whole universe to make out of Green Lantern alone. So that would be interesting. Just to end this video, I just want to say, guys, The Walking Dead is better than The Last of Us. Go watch The Walking Dead um, if you haven't already. Go watch some more films. Just go enjoy them. You know, we need to normalise, like, not doing actual important stuff to watch films. That needs to be normalised. Um... I'm going to cinema a few times this, well, I went cinema to see Fablemans and Plane recently. I've got reviews on them. Go check them out on Instagram and TikTok. And I've done a lot of blind ranking recently. I'm going to try and get some more actual reviews and content out rather than blind rankings. And I'm going to see Puss and Boots, Ant-Man and the Wasp and uh, Knock at the Cabin. They're all booked. Knock at the Cabin looks good. It's a thriller though. So, I mean, I might end up walking out halfway through. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I'm not really sure what I'll do in episode 3. I'd like to mention my Funkos at some point, And obviously, I'll get DC news out there. I don't know. It depends what else is announced. There'll probably be a lot of DC drama this week. So I might, might end up doing a video just more on that. But yeah, Funkos. There'll be a video of that coming soon. Um, please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Go follow me on all of the social media. Twitter, Letterbox, TikTok. Instagram, you know, go follow me on all that. Um, you guys are fantastic. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, please return. Thank you if you want to.